Hey everybody, this is Paul. Today I'm going to be explaining what a logarithm is. So I went ahead and wrote one down here, and it reads like this. Log base A of B is equal to C. So what in the world does this mean? This is kind of weird. Um, where this comes from is it comes from... It's basically another way to to think about a statement like this. If we have some number A and it's raised to the power c, then the answer is equal to b. So you're going, whoa, whoa, what the heck, what the heck. Okay, let's, let's give you some numerical examples, and we'll kind of think about this a little more practically. So let's say that our a equals 2, and our b equals 8. Okay, so we're going to just rewrite this here. So we have log base a, so our base is 2. So log base 2 of 8 is equal to c. So what is c? So if we were to think about this as like a scorpion, and the scorpions have like the stingers that come around, well, let's say that this guy's stinger starts at the base, comes around the answer of the logarithm, and then a stinger points at the argument, the b. So basically what I'm doing with this is this is a way to help you remember how to write this. a is our base, follow it, follow it, and then the next thing you write is the power c, and then you pass the equal sign, equals, the argument b. So, okay, what we're asking here now, doing the scorpion tail technique, is we're saying 2 raised to the c power is equal to 8. So what does 2 have to be raised to in order to equal 8? So 2 to what power equals 8? And it turns out that 2 times itself 3 times, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 multiplied by itself 3 times is the same thing as 2 to the third, and 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so this equals 8. So our c has to be equal to 3. 2 to the third equals 8. 2 to the c equals 8. c equals 3. So logarithms are a little bit tricky when you first start working with them. But basically what you're asking yourself is, if I have some number, what power do I have to raise it to in order to get the argument? So in my next video I'll go ahead and do some more examples of this, but in a nutshell, that's the way you want to think about logarithms. Think about them as like a scorpion, and it's just another way to represent some number raised to some power is equal to some number, the argument. So what number would you have to raise this number to? What exponent does this have to be raised to in order to equal this number right here? 2 to the c equals 8. In this case, it's log base 2 of 8 equals 3 since 2 to the third power equals 8. 2 to the third power equals 8. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'll go ahead and do another video on some more examples of this uh, just to help the point sink in. But in a nutshell, that's really the way you need to think about logarithms. So anyway, thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe.